Hi, Jim's Little Boat. I'm Jim. I look at a lot of videos and a lot of pictures of Catalina 22s, and it seems to me like about every third one that you buy is missing that little hatch up in the bow that covers up the running lights and the uh, bow eye. And I don't know where they go, but you know, it's pretty small and the boats are old, so who knows? Mine is missing also. So I thought I'd make a new one and I would share with you how I did it. Uh, it's not particularly complicated, I don't believe, but I'm gonna use starboard and we'll get a few hints on how to do that. And I need to say that it's pretty dark and cramped up there in the V-berth, so I'm not really sure I can take any pictures, but I will share with you as much as I can, uh, particularly here in the shop. So let's see what happens. That is the ugly hole that seems to be so prevalent in so many of these older boats. It's a little knock-in hatch cover. It's missing. So we're going to make one, and because I hate wood on boats, I'm going to make mine out of starboard. But I think we'll have to go in the shop and start with a cardboard template. I'm going to take some crude measurements after I put down the foad, and we'll see where we are. Well, there are my fancy little measurements. It's a trapezoid. It's uh, 14 on the top, 10 on the bottom, and that's including the overlap. And the inside of the hole is eight and three quarters, which I will then have to figure out what that means in terms of overlap and the little cleats or clips that I cut out. But that's enough to get started. We took that information and we turned it into this template of what we think the cover should look like. I don't know if it's right or not, but we'll find out. Then I had to figure out a way to fasten it in there. Okay, we have a template. We're ready to go stick that in the boat and try it out. But since it's 4.15 in the morning and it's dark and it's cold, I'll probably go ahead and wait until Saturday morning after I've had two cups of coffee and we'll give it a shot. At the last minute, I remembered one more thing. In case it actually works, I'll need a finger hole so I can get it out of there. <laughs> okay, it's crude, I know, but we'll see how it works. I went out in the boat and tried this out, and the overall shape was just fine, not a problem at all. The problem is the cleats. There's the bottom one and the top one. And I realized I need two of these. That will keep the hatch cover from wobbling. And then I really need the top one to be deeper because there just wasn't enough room to slip it up and have it clear and drop back in. So overall shape, it eh, could have been a little bigger, but it's just fine, really. And we just need to adjust the cleats and dink with that. Unfortunately, too tight for me to do photography and try it out inside the boat. So we'll fix it here and then we'll go try it again. Well, I moved the lower one up and that seems to work just fine, I think. I moved that one and cut a little off, but I still need to gain almost two inches. So I think I'll remake the cleats and see what happens. We're getting close, so I think I'll rip off some one inch wide strips of number one pine and cut the cleats out of that. I think that'll work. If it doesn't, I've got more scraps in the box. Third iteration. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, we'll cut a piece of starboard that's 14 by 11, do all the machining, and then we'll trim it down to catch the taper on the sides and the curves. I'm not worried about the pencil marks. They'll probably wash off, and even if they don't, it's on the back side. Who cares? We've got all the holes drilled and countersunk. Uh, they're pretty sharp in that finger hole. We'll have to deal with that later. But... Now it's time to tackle the taper cuts on the table saw. I'm going to use a jig to make it a little safer. Well, that was highly unsatisfactory. 
That went well. Now I'll use my expensive circle template here and draw the rounded corners I want to cut. Just anything that's about the right radius will work fine. We'll do all four of those and we'll take it over to the bandsaw. So you could just use a piece of sandpaper, a file, anything. Just get the edges rounded. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I think we'll go ahead and soften the edges. They're sharp. They could cut you. And then maybe we'll put it together. Took a router and rounded off the edges. I just happen to have a little trim router. You could use sandpaper, a file, even a plane. And now I'm going to get rid of the little tiny hard edge right there with a piece of sandpaper. And we'll be ready to put this together. Well, gosh, almighty fish hooks. It's in there, seems to fit, stays. It's a little snug to snap in, but it does go in. So I'm gonna call that a check mark and move on to something else.